Hey there, you are watching the Data Dispatch. Thank you for tuning in. Today we are talking coolers, in particular the Igloo Recool, the world's first biodegradable cooler. This is the Igloo Recool, and it's supposed to be an alternative to the single-use foam coolers that just ultimately wind up floating in the ocean, or, you know, the one you bought in 1985 for a 12 earth buds is still today sitting in a landfill. This guy is completely recyclable, though. I remember reading about this a few months ago, I think it was on one of like, the outdoor retailer show write-ups and being super excited. I was walking through REI yesterday, I saw them stacked up, and I had to try one. All right, some specs. Uh, the cooler is constructed of a recycled paper and paraffin wax. And I remember when I read that thinking that the interior must be coated in wax, but it's not. The interior feels just like the exterior, which frankly just feels like a super heavy duty cardboard box. Capacity wise, it is 16 quarts, which the company claims is good for 20 cans. But when I think about a cooler like this, what I really think about is will it hold a six pack, some additional sodas, some waters, and a few sandwiches for the day, and it is definitely large enough for that. The company claims up to 12 hours of ice retention, a really impressive five days of water retention, and also that it will hold up to 75 pounds by the handle, which frankly, when it's full of water, seems borderline impossible to me, but we're gonna find out. Lastly, it is reusable. At the end of the day, you just dump out the water, you let it air dry, and you're supposed to be good to go for another use. Design-wise, it is a pretty simple box, but there's some nice touches in the form. It has integrated handles, so you can see that there. The lid has an integrated handle as well, and also four integrated cup holders. Nice touch. And two other quick pros for this guy. You can drop it, and it won't crack like a styrofoam cooler frequently will. See? Nothing. We're all good. And Anybody who has ever had a styrofoam cooler in the back of the car know that they squeak like crazy. <laughs> Drive you nuts. This guy, perfectly quiet. That alone makes it a winner in my book. So I'm going to throw a six pack of some ice in here and check in all day. Look, it's late July in Dallas. I think the forecast is calling for something like 99 degrees. I frankly don't expect there to be much ice in here past two or three hours max. But to me, that's not the point. When I want a cooler like this, um, it's usually a day trip. It's uh, probably not going to be 100 degrees. And what I'm way more interested than in than their ice retention claims are their water retention claims. Is it going to leak in my car? And can I really, when it's full of water, pick this thing up by the handles and not have the bottom blow out? <laughs> I know it's not, but it just feels like a cardboard box to me. So let's get started. So good. I'm gonna stick this in the shade and check in later. All right, so it has been about two hours, almost dead even two hours. I've had it back here in the shade. Let's see what we have. Hey, we still got a lot of ice. You can see the red marks I put for where it was. I mean, it's definitely come down, but um, so far so good. And let's see. No, no water at all. Completely leak proof. And guys, it is hot, hot out here right now. I think the Weather Channel says it's 101 and feels like 110, so after two hours that still has um, any ice in it at all. It is a, uh, not bad, not bad at all. This is hour four, still no leaking at all. Still some ice in there, definitely materially less, but you know, we're talking, I think weather channel says it's up to 103 degrees now, so, so good. Yeah, not wet at all, all right. Solid, hour four, a success. So we're at almost eight hours on. Still absolutely no water at all. Ice retention. Hey, still a little specks in there. Like, hey, more than specs, I mean, it's still got a solid chunk. Now look, I put a lot of ice in there, but it's been well over 100 degrees ever since I've had it out here. Um, I'm calling this I'm calling this done. This cooler has proved its worth in this heat. So the Igloo Recool 100% works. It has been out all day in 100 plus degree weather. And I still have cold beer, which makes it a complete winner in my book for this kind of cooler. But you know, honestly, I kind of expected that. I did put a bunch of ice in there and they do market it as a cooler after all. 
Uh, so I guess that's not completely surprising, but what is surprising to me is that this is not wet at all. You have to understand, when you buy this thing, it just feels like a cardboard box. Um, there's no water on the bottom. I kind of tend to believe they're multiple day water holding period. The weight issue, not a concern. I mean, it doesn't remotely feel like it's gonna give. Uh, so I definitely give this cooler two enthusiastic thumbs up for me. So if you use styrofoam coolers at all, I highly recommend you check out the recyclable Igloo Recool. Uh, even if you hate the environment and just deplore conservationist, conservationist, conser conservationist, you know what I mean. Um, just the no squeaking alone makes this thing worth it. Uh, do the recycling thing is just an added benefit. Uh, I'll put some links in the description below. Uh, as always, if I use the Amazon link, I get a super tiny commission, but I'll put the REI ones in there as well because if you remember, it's probably a little bit cheaper. But until next time, go have some fun outside. See you soon.